Leos. Hi, beautiful Leos. I'm here with a general reading um, for the next uh, several weeks, for the next couple of weeks, the next seven to 10 days. Um, take the timing as you will. Um, this is a reading that could resonate with anyone who has Leo strongly in their chart. Um, but of course, it will not fit for everyone. There is just no way that all Leo people are going through the same thing at the same time. It's just, we're all different ages. We all have different natal charts. It just doesn't work um, for everyone. But hopefully, there's something here for you as you move forward. Let's go ahead and get started now, Leo. Um, looking into the current energies for this group of Leo people that I'm going to give a story for. Um, looking into your current energy at this period of time now. Leo. Into your current energy this period of time. And that King of Swords comes out strong, but he doesn't actually come out on the table, but we have a King of Swords making a showing somehow here. All right. These are the current energies. Let's look at what Leo will be stepping into what Leo will be stepping into in the upcoming energy, in the next immediate energy wave. What will Leo be stepping into? What will Leo be stepping into, please? What is Leo stepping into in the next energy wave? <sighs> Gotta breathe. My hand, there's so much energy, Leo, that my, it's, it's, my hand is just bursting with energy. Um, Please, guidance for Leo. Guidance for Leo. Guidance, please. Guidance, please. <clears throat> There's something new. There's something new happening. Some new, something new. I mean... Let's go ahead and see what's here. Oh, shit. The full energy. Prince of Cups. Ace of Wands. And this came in like this. So there's something coming in here. Three of Swords. I almost want to cover this up. Leo, you're stepping into you're stepping into something new. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting! But I'm not sure if you can entirely see it yet. But something here is happening. Something new is happening. Um, you've been introduced to someone here. You've been. Uh, am I starting? I'm starting. Okay. Sorry. It's just this energy is a huge. It's a shift. It's there's a big shift. Something has happened to this group of Leos. Um, you've been introduced to someone. You have come up with a new idea. You have been approached by someone. You have a new inspiration. Something new and inspiring has happened to you here. Um, there could have been messages of love. We have the doves here. Um, the, the spring is in the air. Blossoms are on the trees. This is, and then, uh, then you have this new something here. But it's being overshadowed by some kind of pain. There's some kind of pain here. Some kind of pain. There's something here. Maybe you're finishing up with something that was hurtful or you're going through something hurtful in your life in some way. But on the other hand, something beautiful is happening. But I'm not quite sure here if you know what to do with it. Because the Ace of Wands, this is the Ace of Wands. It's new action, new passion, new excitement, something new that excites you and, and is full of exuberant energy. 
I'm not exactly sure if you know what to do because this new action here is being overshadowed by this pain, worry, wisdom that you've received from it. So you could be something that I tend to do sometimes that I'm learning not to do is I put the brakes on all the time when I'm driving in the, in the, in the car of life. <laughs> Such a dark, I'm a dark. <laughs> this is a ridiculous analogy, but I'd be driving in my car and there'll be something new that happens and I'll just instinctively put the brakes on like, Oh, can't do that. Or what's this? Instead of just saying, Oh, let me walk right into this. What is this interesting experience? What is this interesting new introduction? So it's kind of like either you're going through something really traumatic or really difficult for you right now. And there's been a little bit of a surprise here that, is creeping in and is kind of beginning to allow this pain to kind of go to kind of subside. But right now the pain is maybe in a way stopping you from going into action with whatever new thing this is. All right. So I feel like just moving forward here and seeing what is coming in for you next, because I feel like there's a beautiful new passionate beginning here. New actions, there's a fool here next to the Prince of Cups and a beautiful new passionate beginning, new actions here, but th this came in like this. So it's not, why is, why are my cars all messed up? Yeah, it's just, um, this is in the upright. This, you haven't started taking action on, on this, whatever it is, because of some kind of pain or worry or something that you're going through in another part of your life is still stronger than whatever this new beginning is. But there is definitely a new beginning here. It feel it might feel pretty risky for you. You might feel pretty vulnerable. You might feel like this loop de loo, whatever this is, <laughs> is gonna just roll off the edge of the cliff and you're going to bounce all over the place as you go down this cliff. But one thing I like is that you're in this loop de loo. <laughs> Why do I feel like a dork in this reading? I feel like a real, I have this, oh, I have this energy of like, I think you, you maybe know what's going on and you, you could even be having this like very interesting sense of humor about this. But one thing I like about this fool energy is this person is, is very securely, almost in a way safe in this circular security bracket. Because as he rolls down the hill, he might tumble around and go around in circles, but he's going to be safe. I mean, unless he falls flat on his face, which would be not good. There is that three of swords. Okay. So I'm going to move forward now into what you're going to step into because I can, it's just clear. It's clear to me what's happening. So um, let's put these like this off to the side and bring in um, how you're going to, what you're going to do in the next couple of weeks about this situation. So we have the chariot. Beautiful. Five of pentacles. All right. Eight of cups. Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. See, there's that Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Whatever this is, it's going to help your, it's going to help something here with your, your finances or the daily routine in life. This could be about work. It could be about money within your household. It could be about some kind of business decision that you're about to make or that you're trying to make or some kind of improvements that you're trying to make here. Um, We have Cancer Energy, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's 
Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Pisces energy. We have all the energies here. Um, the All of the air energies, Leo, are all worry energies. Worry and confusion. So it could be like the energy that I was talking about earlier where, because I'm an Aquarius, so I live in the, I live, unfortunately, in the um, sword energy. So it could be what I was feeling earlier where you're just wanting to put the brakes on. You're not really, you're hesitating and moving forward in something. Um, you're worried about some sort of consequences here that could leave you in um, a hurtful financial position or some kind of solitary societal position. Um, you could be worried about being left out in the cold or losing money um, if you move forward, but I think that whatever this is, you don't really have a choice because the fool card comes in first. This new job or introduction is here. It's definitely here. And it's this, the, the passion here that is in the Ace of Wands energy is going to, is going to overcome this Three of Swords. It really will. The fire and the passion and the energy that comes with the Ace of Wands um, will ultimately here overcome this Three of Swords energy. And that's what we see happening as you move into the next several weeks. We have the chariot. Now the chariot here um, is, is moving forward. And as the chariot moves forward, it kind of, what I see is like an engine. What they're showing me is like a train engine. And on the beginning, on the front of the train engine, there's that, what's that called? A cattle, a cattle guard. Um, when it goes through the snow, when the train goes through heavy snow, that cattle guard or whatever that is on the front of the engine will just push the snow out of the way or could even, if there are animals on the tracks or something, it will, it's gross, but it will like clear the way for the train. It's almost like that cattle guard is in a way like pushing this worry to the side because there's some kind of momentum here that I don't think you can say no to. I think this situation is here and all it is is kind of pushing through this, these egoic worries that you have um, where you're kind of connected to things that have happened in the past, or you could be worried about your skills and capacities. You could be worried about your ability to be successful in this new project or in this new arena. Whatever this is, I think you're being pushed forward either by the universe, by another person, by your supervisor. I don't really think you have any choice, but it does feel like as you move into this energy, um, I think you kind of somehow your mood brightens because I'm really drawn to this sunflower here, this sun energy. I think that you begin to, it, it's this Ace of Wands. I think as you begin to take action, that taking action really kind of moves this worry here that's here. It kind of just pushes it to the side. I don't think, you might not have a whole lot of time to actually be worried. Because this um, chariot is moving forward. The chariot moves forward really strongly. The chariot isn't really stopped by too much. And with that cattle guard on the front of the train engine and the fact that they've showed me a train engine tells me that this, this, this situation could have a lot of momentum or it could have a lot of strength behind it. It could be a situation that you've given, been given a task by a supervisor or by someone in your family or something, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. But as you begin to take action and move forward, you feel more and more inspired. You feel like, oh man, this does feel good. Or, oh yeah, I can do this. Why was I worried about this? Why was I worried about this? That's kind of the image um, and the feelings that I get. Um, I think when you do this, you're, you're kind of, the, you must be walking away from something else. You must be giving up some other task or you must be having to move forward from something that you were stuck on here. Something here you were stuck on, an old idea. Uh, maybe you were really wanting to get a job at, I don't know, a local cafe, um, but 
now there's another opportunity to get a job at um, this nationally recognized catering company and all of a sudden like this old dream you had is pushed aside by something much more bit grander than you ever had in your mind to begin with something like this and it pushes aside these worries of competence worries of insecurity fears of failure here with the five of pentacles and it forces you here to walk away from something that you could have been for a long time working towards because the eight of cups is an energy that you is a is an energy where you've put a lot of time and emotion into something and you're basically walking away from that towards something that's much more profitable because what we see here is is sort of a business decision here with the queen of pentacles it's about the details of your life it's about okay am i going to make fifteen dollars an hour or am i going to make twenty five dollars an hour am i going to make fifteen dollars an hour perfecting this one craft that I've been working on for a long time, or if I'm going to step into another platform and make $25 an hour doing something that is going to push me a whole lot harder than I would have been pushed before. Or it could have been, it could be that you could be making $1 an hour doing something. It depends on what your money scale is, right? Um, for those people that make, you know, $25 an hour, they're also paying much more for rent. They're paying much more for food. So it's just a scale of money that I'm using here. So if you live in an economy that pays much less, just take it to the scale of your own money. Um, you can make a dollar a day doing something that you've tried to do for a long time, or you can make $5 a day doing something that's going to require some training, um, some stepping into the, the unknown here, but it, so it's somewhat of a business decision here with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, it's, it's going to require work. It's definitely going to require work. It's going to require um, tenacity and perseverance and um, continual improvement in your work. Um, but what it's bringing you is the Nine of Pentacles here. It's bringing you um, so, the ability to be self-reliant, the ability to be very abundant in your work, to... Um, receive an abundant income from whatever you're striving towards. Uh, it's going to move forward and put you in this trajectory here of long-term gain in your financial picture. Um, it's going to help your pocketbook. It's going to help your retirement planning. It's going to help you for a very long time to come. So it's this, it is this um, feeling here, Leo, of stepping into something that is much more powerful than you originally had planned to do and it's just working through that fear energy that you can sometimes have and maybe some pain energy some sadness here um maybe you spent a lot of money to start a business and you've been working on this business for a long time and somebody comes in and says you know I really like what you're doing. Why don't you join my team? You can do the same thing on my team and I'll pay you a salary of 120,000 a year to do this. And here you are with this business that you start. Um, you've worked at it a long time and you, you decide to go for it. But in going for it, you have to overcome some inner insecurities that you have about your capacities and you have to overcome all the time and the effort that you have put into whatever it was that you were doing before. So these same energies can um, be applied to a new relationship. It can be applied to a new job, a new hobby that you're taking up, something new that you're doing within the family. It can incorporate almost anything here, but it's something that you're something here you're changing up. So let's look at the guidance that comes in for the situation. Oh, two of wands, a life change, life path change, hanged man, seeing it differently, 10 of swords, end of struggle, the moon. All right. So there is a need here for you to choose which way to go, which action to take with which path to take. Um, and there's guidance here for you to, um, make sure that you're looking at this choice from all directions, from all perspectives. Make sure that um, you're pushing yourself with the way that you consider these options. Make sure that you look at it from the complete different 
direction. Make sure that you, maybe if you're thinking about it, like, I just don't think I have the skills to do this. I don't think that I've had the training to do this. I just, I just worry um, that it's going to impact this business that I have or whatever you're thinking. Um, and then challenge yourself to think of it from the completely opposite, opposite direction. You know, think of it from a perspective that you do have the skills and the capacities, that you do have the ability to be successful in this. Where would this take you? Where would it take you? How would it help you financially? How will it help you in your career? Um, it, you know, think of it from a completely different perspective and allow yourself to be in that other perspective energy because I think there is um, some type of perspective here that's going to help you move out of a time period or a, or a situation or some kind of long-term painful position that you've been in that has kept you quite... Um, in a cycle of whatever you want to call it, non-success or frustration or pain, misery, because we do have the Ten of Swords here. So this is talking about a long, a long road of struggle and pain. We have the Moon, which talks about the unknowing of the future, right? Wishes coming true. Imagination. The power of the imagination. This is a Pisces energy. Pisces people have the ability to imagine, to take their emotions and um, use their emotions as fuel for their imagination. This is to engage with the imaginative mind and to allow yourself to soar with your imagination into new frontiers and to believe in the power of the universe and to believe in the power of your inner of your inner strength to believe in the power of wishes and blessings and miracles and the universe you know this is and look at the reflection here with the water to believe in destiny to believe that your situation could be much better and much greater and much more profound and much more financially free than it is now and to imagine what that would feel like and what it would look like. Um, when I was in the Ten of Swords, I've been in the Ten of Swords in, um, I always feel like for me, I've lived a series of lifetimes in one life, you know? Um, I really have, and, and many of us have. And in other lifetimes within this life, um, I, for a long time, was in the Ten of Swords. And when you're in the Ten of Swords for a long period of time, and when your flame is diminished, and when you don't have any identity, of your own self, um, you really, um, for me anyway, my imagination was really, um, it was locked up in a tiny, tiny box and I didn't know how to imagine. I didn't know my capacities. Everything had been taken away from me. Um, and as I strengthened and became more empowered, I really had to learn how to um, re-engage the imagination and, because the imagination is vital for our manifestations. And if we can't imagine, and if we can't allow ourselves to sit on this moon and imagine what our destiny could be, um, we, we don't allow ourselves to even see future doorways to step into. So this is guidance here um, for you to, to imagine, to allow yourself to move in that direction, um, to allow yourself to imagine and be in those imagined energies um, of what the future could, could actually be and to start to perhaps begin the belief of miracles, of magic, of beautiful lives ahead. It's kind of the, this, this is the guidance that's coming forward for this group of Leos today. Okay, Leo, I am going to take a rest now and I'll move into the extended. I'm definitely going to look at, into this full energy. I'm going to look into this Ace of Wands energy here, look deeper into these energies. Um, I want to look at this Nine of Pentacles to get an idea here of what this is. And I'm just being pulled to this moon. So these are the energies I'm going to dig deeper into for the sign of Leo. Um, and I will also look, Leo, at the people who are around you 
and what their intentions are. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the extended. I'm going to look at the Fool energy, the Ace of Wands energy, the Nine of Pentacles energy. Look at this beautiful energy, Leo. Look at it. Look at the coin. Look at the coin everywhere. Look at his face. Ha! Ha ha! And then the moon energy. So those are the four energies I'm going to dig into. And um, I'll look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are. All right, Leo, this has been a really fun reading. I hope it's been helpful. I hope it's given you confidence and comfort um, in this new um, exciting venture that you're about to, to take off on. And um, I wish you the very, the very best as you move forward in the year 2020. Thank you, beautiful friends.